Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a pretty interesting deck to show you. This is called Stormy Shaman, and it's called that because it makes use of the new legendary spell for Shaman called the Stormbringer. Now this, what it does is it transforms all of your minions on the board into legendary minions. So it's got a lot of RNG involved. It's probably a bit of a meme card, but it does have some huge upsides as well. So it's a pretty cool deck to play. Um, it also, interestingly, makes use of Thrall Deathseer, which um, evolves your minions. And along with the Evolve package, you've also got Unstable Evolution and Corridor Creeper. So Corridor Creeper is excellent with Evolves because if you keep this in your opening hand, for example, it becomes zero mana. When you play it and you evolve it, it suddenly becomes a 8-drop. So potentially if this is reduced to zero and you play it and then you play Unstable Evolution, for one mana you can get an 8-drop on the board. So it has these really big tempo swings. So the purpose of the deck in the early game is you really want to swarm the board, make sure you can keep minions on the board, and that can be done with the Primal Fin Totem. We've seen this played a lot in Shaman before. Your Flame and Tongue Totem, also Mecha Ruse, a good sticky one, Firefly, and also the new card Thunderhead, which is a really interesting card actually, um, and it works really well whenever you're playing Overload spells. So um, that helps keep these little tokens on the board that you can then evolve, and then even Bloodlust if you've got one on you that you can then kill your opponent with. Shaman is my least played class, but to be honest, I did struggle a little bit with this deck, um, mostly because of card draw. So it was very hard if you didn't draw your early game minions to be able to put on the board early and potentially you had a handful of your, your late game cards it was very difficult to get those minions to stick on the board because you need to stick them early and then play thrall on turn five potentially otherwise your opponent can just um use their aoe and then you kind of struggle so basically i wouldn't recommend this for, for ladder climbing but it is a lot of fun to play i just struggled with it when if you if you played your early cards and they got removed eventually your fuel runs out and you get into just top decking one card at a time and if you're top decking one card at a time they you can't get your low cost minions to stick on the board and you've got nothing to evolve and the whole deck kind of falls down so it really does have a, one kind of direct route of getting on the board early then evolving your minions and playing bloodlust and if you can't do that it kind of falls down so that's where i struggled with it but like i said if you've got the stormbringer it's a great fun deck to try but probably don't craft the, uh, the Stormbringer because I think it's probably too expensive and not that effective. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Doomhammer for the Frost Wolves. So we to start, we want Firefly or um, Primal Fin Totem and also Flame Tongue Totem, don't we? Hmm. Very nice. So it is 2 p.m., so 2 in the afternoon. So I'm in Canada right now. Job done. This is pretty good to play Mekaru and then that on turn 3, maybe. I hate spell damage items so much, but... There's no point doing one if they're both going to do three next turn. So let's um, do face. And I'll trade one in next turn, maybe. So we, we need them to work with that. I feel like we're playing Shadow Ox, so they do play Lightning Storms. So let's... I mean, we'll... Missing three damage to face is rough sometimes. But I just don't want my flame tongue to die, because if these die, they come straight back. Oh, he's not playing Shadow Walk. Maybe he's playing the same deck as me. Am I going to trade again? Alright, well, we're getting rid of that for sure. So if he's got a, yeah, if he's got a flame tongue himself, he can just trade it in. Well, that's nice. I think I'm too, I'm probably too uh, control conscious to play this deck properly. <laughs> we'll see. Feral spirit, interesting. Okay.
Let's get a two face in. Because when he summons them, they summon either side here, I think. Do we play the creeper now? Yeah. Hopefully he hasn't got a volcano, that'll be sucky. Put this apple on your head. Yes. Oh my god, we're so far ahead here. I want to keep these at 5 health in case of a lightning storm. So I think we just do this. Come on, we, I want to get thrall so we can evolve this board. There he is! Alright, no clear and we thrall the board. Team, well, everybody's welcome, obviously. Ah, the guys. Oh, we got Bloodlust too! <laughs> oh, we, we've won this game in so many different ways. I'm gonna, I'm gonna evolve it though for the laughs. I mean, I've got lethal, haven't I? Here we go. And then next, we've got a top deck, the Stormbringer. <laughs> what did we. Let's evolve this one. And now we've got Bloodlust next turn. From control to aggro, yeah. Oh, I wanted to play Stormbringer. Alright. Paladin, I'll keep Lightning Storm. Probably odd Paladin. Yes or no? Yeah, I know. Alright, this hand is much better. Oh, so he's not odd Paladin. Maybe he's playing eggs. Next time we'll play Flame Tongue. I'll put the Flame Tongue there, it's quite good. What is my purpose? What is my purpose? Holy crap! That's a pretty good opener. I don't want him to um, be able to upgrade this, but I couldn't. There wasn't a way I could get rid of him. Oh, he got magnet. I thought he'd have magnetic. Wow, a six ten. I haven't got much of a way to deal with that, to be honest. Yeah, Hearthstone's got amazing um, sounds. The sounds are really good. Like. The animations and the noise it sounds are really good. What is my purpose? Ooh. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. So this is where I want thrall. Oh good, that's good for us. So we get both our totems up next turn. Oh, Thunderhead again. Yes, taunt. Oh, the taunt item's not amazing. But anyway. I need to draw into. Oh, bloodlust. Uh oh. One, two, three, plus 12, 15. 
Oh, I don't think I've got the mana for Bloodlust anyway. I don't agree with his trades, to be honest. Ooh. Oh, we're one mana short of being able to do this. And I kind of do both as well. Ooh, that was a good play. But I use um, so for I use feet and inches. So I use Imperial mostly, but I do know the the metric system as well. So for my height, for example, I do feet and inches. For distances, I use miles. Um, uh, but measurements, I also would use centimeters. So I think the answer is I use both, really. Just not drawing these cards correctly, are we, guys? Because Storm Surge plus Bloodlust gives us double Bloodlust. But he's going to clear at least two minions, three minions. Okay. Yeah, unless I get some crazy evolves, I'm not clearing this board, am I? Reporting for duty. Oh, that's nice. Doesn't do a lot, to be fair. Because he just... Yeah. Oh, God. We're going to lose again. The measurement... Oh, okay. You think the sound is a Rick and Morty reference or just a coincidence? Uh, I don't watch Rick and Morty actually. Converting stored energy. Oh god. I wish I had Devolve. Obviously that's rotated out now. Reporting for duty. Go face. Yes, at last. All right. So now I have to go Electra plus Bloodlust gives us... Now that's pretty good, you know. So that's A and uh, yeah, that's all we can do. So if I went Electra Bloodlust, we'll have a seven attack. I wonder. Yeah, so we can trade into these three minions. That gives us a chance. Lightning can strike twice. Or I can do 15 to his face, but that's far too greedy. Because if it's a top deck war, once we get Thrall, I think we should be able to win. Reporting for duty. Ungoral belongs to the Titan. So he talked at top decks Taron. Ah oh, man. I'm warning you. I'm unstable. Enter the shadows. Oh, awesome. Oh, amazing. That is such a good evolve. That is, like, so good. So, I'm confident we can win from this position. 
Kill his mech, please. Kill his mech and not the 1-1. One -one. That's good. You can't magnetic that now. So what do I want? I want to draw Thrall. That's good, because next turn we've got a good play. Job's done. Alright. So many priests own this way. Yeah, it can be good. Hmm. That's a little bit annoying. Converting stored energy. I think we lightning storm this turn, guys. Although if I miss No, let's totem. If we get spell damage, I'll lightning storm. And now we do the Stormbringer. Don't concede. Don't concede. Come on. No! <laughs> okay. And it's got Rush. Oh, because he put Ziliax in it. Reporting for duty. Oh, guys. This is going to be good. Thunderstruck! Are you ready? Are you ready? That's pretty nice. Taste my Job's done. Okay. GG. The victory is yours. See, this deck's got so many good OP plays, I just feel like it's a little bit difficult to make them work. It's Druid, so... I quite like Mana Titan. So... That's, this is a good hand. Ooh, that's nice too. Druid does have ways to deal with this, like swipe and things, and they've also got spreading plague eventually. Playing um, Warframe this morning, were you, Nin? That was probably before I woke up, to be fair. Ouch. And two Corridor Creepers is awesome. Taking this one a little bit slow. But to be honest, this might be a good matchup, depending. Hopefully, it's not Taunt Druid. Because he, when he's spreading plagues, if we manage to get a good evolve, then he's not going to be able to deal with it because he's only got naturalizes, which deal. Hmm. He's dealing with the stuff quite well at the moment. It's pretty annoying. What do I need to do for a moderator? Sell me. Yeah, you need to sell nil your soul. We can take this relatively slow too. He might. He might spread in plague, but I don't mind. If, if, if he does, I can double Volcanic Burst plus Bloodlust, kill all these things, and then hit his face. <laughs> hello, hello. Oh man. This guy's just. Yes. Alright, Flame Tongue's alive. Ooh, there's Thrall. Pretty soon we'll be able to play two free Corridor Creepers and Thrall. Oh man, we can play this plus 
double sparks as well. I wonder. But that's bad to swipe, maybe. Nice, the heal's good. Sharing the storm. Job's done. Right, so next turn, next turn I want to try and um, do these two plus thrall. Alright, Nourish and Swipe. Has he got Swipe? Okay, but how are you going to deal with this? One will do. I am the frozen heart of the scourge. <gasps> no, 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 no. I mean, that's amazing. If he's, yeah, this is good. Uh, well, if he, he can only swipe that, right? I could have played another spark, but it would have only summoned uh, one extra spark, so I didn't want to. And it overloads me by another mana. I'm going to just evolve that next turn, so we're good. Does Bloodlust win me the game next turn? If he doesn't Spreading Plague, it might. No! That's actually fine though, really. It's not that bad. We might have lethal. I wanted to hit that. But the two sparks plus bloodlust. Yeah, we should. It's all good. Oh, boo. <laughs> well played. 